Man, you might want to back your unit up. A train carrying propylene, a highly flammable petrochemical used in manufacturing, blows up in Texarkana, Arkansas, early in the morning, October 15, 2005. A police car's dashboard camera captures the massive explosion. With no time to turn around, the officer throws his car into reverse and races backwards to escape the growing river of fire coming right at him. It was quite massive, and just as far as you can see, just, just nothing but flames. The disaster starts when Officer Randy McAdams is finishing up the night shift. A moving freight train hits a park train at the Texarkana Depot, causing a derailment, but not an explosion. Could you call them back and see if they can ascertain exactly which car is overturned and maybe what the contents of the car was? It's not like a regular car accident. It can be thousands of gallons of very toxic chemicals up to maybe nothing leaking at all. Uh, kind of have to get there and investigate and determine what's going on. Officer McAdams is one of the first on the scene. I've got some kind of chemical smell. I'm backing up. It's slowly drifting further south. He notices gas seeping out and spreading in a dangerous vapor cloud. I can see what kind of looked like a light fog. The chemical that was leaking was heavier than air, so it's kept to the low ground. The chemical cloud was actually following me, circling me up, so I retreated back. The Texarkana Fire Department also responds, but Battalion Chief Rick Pavick doesn't see the vapor cloud. He's taken completely by surprise when the gas finds an ignition source and erupts 500 feet away. It was real crazy. It was amazing is what it was, you know, just to be that close to something that large and watch it spread out. When the gas ignites, Officer McAdams' dash cam records the initial sound, but the explosion is out of view. The Texarkana police dispatcher has a clear view of the train tracks and radios Officer McAdams. Four Central, we just had a huge explosion. Uh, we've got massive fire out here, all kinds of stuff on fire. As Officer McAdams starts backing up, the flames race down the track and into the camera's view as the gas explodes over and over again. Anywhere that vapor from the chemicals had gone, just burned. Whether it was on the ground, in the air, it was just a, nothing but a ball of fire and just, just like a big fuse, it just kept going further and further. It was a big mushroom-shaped fireball. It went up in the middle and then kind of cascaded down. 209, you might want to back your unit up. I didn't have time to really get scared because once it started happening, you it just started reacting. You know, you can't sit there and be scared, or I wouldn't have, wouldn't have made it through it. Gigantic clouds of fire soar into the morning sky. I can try to explain it to my friends or people who ask me about it, and I can never explain it properly until they see the video and they all just see it. It was just unreal. Firefighters believe the gas finds an ignition source inside one of the nearby houses. They watch homes get blown apart right in front of their eyes and fear people might be caught in the blast. I was 500 feet away from the three houses that exploded. When the flames mushroomed up, they were completely destroyed. Several electrical explosions follow as the fire rages out of control. You know, I'd already had a, a plan of action in my head and then when it blew up, it changed everything. So the first thought that went through my head was, uh, you know, okay, what do we do now? Hundreds of nearby residents and a nursing home are evacuated. Well, they said, everybody over in the College Hill area, you need to evacuate. Okay. Firefighters are on the scene for more than 12 hours. The charred remains of cars and debris are a testament to the ferocity of the chemical-fueled inferno that claims one life a 61-year-old woman who lived in one of the destroyed homes. An investigation finds the cause of the train accident to be lack of attention by the train crew. By far, that was the biggest explosion I'd ever seen, uh, possibly even on video, but for sure in person. It's still unreal. Officer McAdams feels fortunate to have made it through alive and says this incident will always be with him. There's no doubt I remember it the rest of my life. It was massive. I come across by the tracks and there's a 
any kind of fog in the area, oh, it hits home pretty pretty hard. Get your out of my way. Get the out of here. 